More powerful, more intense, more destructive. Extreme weather is the new normal. Yes, we've always had hurricanes and droughts and wildfires and floods, but never on this scale. And that's because the world is getting hotter than ever. Greenhouse gas emissions have created this blanket of CO2 around the Earth, trapping heat. And that's why areas that are prone to wildfires, like California, parts of Southern Europe or Australia, say, are experiencing record hot, dry conditions, enabling these deadly fires to envelop swathes of land at an unprecedented rate and at huge costs. And weirdly, as dry areas get drier because of global warming, wetter areas will only get wetter. That's because as warmer air increases evaporation, there's an increasing amount of water vapor up there in the atmosphere for storms to suck up. A recent study has directly linked that to the devastating flooding in Germany and Belgium, which killed 200 people this summer. Storm systems are also drawing more energy from warming oceans, which is creating more powerful hurricanes and cyclones. And this is projected to get worse as the climate continues to warm. Oh, and just for good measure, remember those locust swarms that struck East Africa and Southwest Asia? Well, studies are linking them to, yes, climate change. Warmer, wetter conditions means bonanza time for the locust swarms. Now, I realize all this couldn't be more depressing, but there is a way out. The evidence and the data is already clear. We have to stop adding to that blanket of greenhouse gases. And while we can all do our bit for the environment, the fundamental responsibility lies in the hands of governments and big corporations. The faster they cut emissions, the safer we will be. <laughs>